My name is Christopher, I have HSV2 down here, and I wanna to talk today about how I've disclosed my herpes to people. Now, this is a disclaimer, this is not medical advice. If you want less information, talk to a doctor. Okay. <sighs> When it comes to disclosing for me personally, I struggled at the beginning, obviously, before I had the whole TikTok thing and the increased confidence from having this. I was super scared. I had to disclose to the first person. I had to build it up for months. I had to like, I guess, write down all my information and present it to them and really kind of go in with the aspect of like, I don't know how you're gonna react. Like, please accept me, yada, 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 stuff like that. And obviously the first disclosure is the hardest, but the first disclosure is the most important one because what if your first disclosure is your last disclosure? Or what if your first disclosure is with someone who also has to disclose their status to you? I've seen it happen before. So don't ever think that they're just not going to accept you because you can't be accepted by someone unless you try. Now, at the beginning, you got to get through your first disclosure because then you can kind of realize that either this person is not right for you or you can still date and disclose and be accepted and have a successful sex and romantic life post-diagnosis. So I got a positive result for my first disclosure and that gave me the confidence going forward like, hey, I can have a normal life. So that was a big boost to your confidence and I think that the first disclosure will give you that sort of confidence going forward. Now, one of the biggest things I can give you in terms of a tip for disclosing is you need to be fully accepting of your diagnosis yourself. If you're still like apprehensive about yourself or not accepting or you still feel like this holds such a power over you and that it will ruin your life and that you're never going to be confident about it, that's going to impact how you're going to disclose. Because if you still judge yourself, someone else is going to judge you. Like I said before, the energy you put out is the energy you're going to get back in. So if you're approaching it from like, hey partner, I have to tell you this. Sit down. It's kind of serious. It's been weighing on me. The person you're disclosing to is going to feel that way. As opposed to if you sort of owned it, even if you only to fake it till you make it. You need to own your diagnosis and you need to make it seem like it's not that big a deal to you so they feel that way. If you approach it with like, I just tell people my herpes status like so they know, I gotta keep them safe, this is the precautions I use, like they're gonna feel that way. And that's what I've done up until now. So I always have facts about herpes, I always have the precautions I take, I always approach it with like, hey, like I know my sexual health, let's bring this up and talk about this together as opposed to please be with me sort of thing. And it's definitely increased over time my confidence. And another thing that happens with me is like people always ask, when do you disclose? And I actually don't have a like go to time frame because everyone is going to be different. I never have a plan and I gauge my disclosure timeline on the individual. So some people I've disclosed to like within the first hour of talking to them. Some people I've disclosed on the first date. Some people I've disclosed on second date. Some people I've disclosed like months later. My first disclosure was like months after meeting someone without actually getting physical. And the last few people have been very accepting. And I think it really comes down to the way you present yourself and your confidence and just sort of the fact that you don't make it into a bigger deal so they don't feel like it's a bigger deal. And it's like completely fine if they reject you regardless. But as long as you bring like your best self and you approach it in the best way possible, at least you did everything you could. Now, when I say that I don't really think about the disclosure very long, I mean this. Like, I don't ever think about building up the disclosure for more than like a minute. I maybe could be like, oh, I should tell them here or like maybe like throw in a joke about it or like just bring it up casually instead of having to kind of sit them down like that. And some people are kind of like confused or like, is this a joke or like, why is this coming up now? Or like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, like this is what I have. And I approach it from the perspective of like, this is a common thing I'm letting you know. And a lot of times like people are gonna love honesty. Uh, if someone even doesn't accept you, they're going to appreciate your honesty. And who knows, maybe down the line, they'll come back and say like, hey, like, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, like, you seem like a great person. And that's another thing too. like, be the best possible version of yourself. Have other things to offer so that people aren't just seeing you as herpes. They're seeing you as an individual that is attractive and has good qualities. And you just so happen to know your herpes status and take precautions. So I'm not saying everyone out there has herpes, but I'm saying that a lot of people don't know their status, don't take precautions, don't even disclose. And if someone sees the value in you, they're gonna to wanna to be with you. So when it comes to how and when to disclose, I don't have a definitive response that's gonna result in a yes. I wish there was a, this is how you disclose to get a yes, but it doesn't actually exist. My best advice here for what I've done is have a full acceptance or as close to a full acceptance as possible. Make yourself the best version of yourself as possible. Go in with ease and confidence and like a relaxed approach and approach disclosure from the perspective of talking about sexual health together as opposed to 
trying to convince them to be with you and turning your herpes diagnosis and herpes disclosure into this like sales pitch. Hope that helps. Extra help will be in the description box. Love you, miss you, hope you're doing well. See you guys later.